Get ready to match the stars. Bill Anderson, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Donna Pascal, from Quincy, Jack Klugman, and Betty White. As we play the star-studded big money match game 78. And now, here's the star of match game 78, Gene Raymond. He missed. <laughs> How do you do? How do you do? Now. Are you all, listen, doesn't it seem a little bit unfriendly to our viewers in America? For what? That you should be here and that what's her name should be so far away from you up there? You know, you're absolutely what right. What is her name? Charles, will you sit down? Sure. Now, change with name. Charles, yeah. Did he take his name, Clay? Oh. All right. Okay. Thank you. Now, wait, I have to say... I have to... Matchmaker, matchmaker, <laughs> say something to my friend. Yes. Good luck, honey. <laughs> Okay, let's see how this works. <laughs> let's uh, welcome and greet Brenda Petty, who's a current champ with thirteen hundred dollars. Congratulations, Brenda! When we were together last time, she won another game. So that means we're going to start with the audience match, where she could win another really big bundle of money. We'll see what happens right after we see about this. Keeping everything neat. Now, Brenda, if you're ready, we'll proceed. We polled the studio audience not so long ago and said, please write down your best answer to this. Dodge blank. If you match the answer they gave most frequently, you get $500. For matching their second most popular answer, $250. And then for matching the third, $100. So you really can hardly lose here. Whom do you call on? How about Bill? How about Bill? How about Bill? Oh, golly, I've got several written down. Um... I'm a sports fan. Let's say dodgeball. Dodgeball. Yeah. yeah. Betty? Dodge City. Dodge City. And Jack. Jack? Now, don't Jack be up so there. quick to make fun. Dodge Dart. Dodge Dart. A car. Okay. So you got that car, the Dodge Dart. You got Dodge City, where Miss Kitty lives. Mm -hmm. And you've got uh, Dodgeball. You want one of those, or you want to dream up one of your own? No, I dreamt up Dodge Dart, and that's what I'm going to go with. That's what you want. Okay, let's find out if it's up there, and if so, where? We'll begin at the bottom and reveal the $100 number. Dodge Dart right off the bat. Okay. I thought that might be up there somewhere, but I didn't think it'd be that low. May we see the next one, please? Dodge City. Dodge Ball. There's uh, Bill Dodge Anderson's City. answer. Dodge City. Dodge City? Yeah. Dodge That's City. a big one. That was mine, Dodge City. You never heard of Dodge City? No. <laughs> How old are you? 20. She's, She's now, wait a minute. She's 20 years dog. old. That series was off the air. How long has it been off the air? I don't know, hon. I never saw it. Five years, something like that? Well, maybe she never saw it. Saw it. I bet it's up there. Slide it, Ori. Yes, it is. Okay. It's a big, hip cowboy western TV show. And the locale was Dodge City. Anyway, you've won $100. That means the least you can be playing for is $1,000, or 10 times that amount. However, remember, if you spin the wheel and get lucky, you could double your money and play for $2,000. Let's see what happens. Go. Double it up. Double it up, Brenda. Keep going there. All right, Donna. Donna, she'll be trying to match you, yeah. and you You're get ready to write, and here we go. Face Mecca, if you would, please. Good luck to you. Ready, Donna? Here it is. Blank your arms. Blank your arms. Okay, now Donna's finished. You give us the answer that she's written on the card. We give it 2,000 bucks. How about that? Fold your arms. Fold your arms. That's the first thing that came to my mind. There must be other good responses. Mm -hmm. Donna, she says, fold your arms. Good. We'll match you. What do you say to that? Don't be mad at me. 
No. Fold your arms. Oh! Very good, Brenda. Too bad you weren't playing for a lot more money. You have a total of $3,400 now. And I know you're very happy in your friends, aren't you? Charles, what did you say? I knew what our friends Jack and, and, uh, and uh, Brett had. What is that? Take me in your arms. Oh, take me in your arms. Was, was right. their answer? Yeah. Yes. It's very oh, moving up there. You even can feel down the vibe. There, that was I minus can one. You, you feel can... trapped, Jack, do you? <laughs> you can feel the vibe. Can't Clear you? down here. <laughs> Brenda, you're going to meet another player now, so let's bring that person on. Here comes Rudy Romero, Jr. Rudy. Hello, Rudy. How do you do? There you go. You know this pretty lady? Oh, I sure do. Yeah. Congratulations. She has a bundle of money there. Rudy, you may say anything you want about Rudy Romero. What would you like to say about him? Well, I'd like to say that uh, I live in Long Beach. I'm married, and I'm a uh, member of the best police department in the world, LAPD. And oh, really? Yes, sir. Well, that's nice that you're proud and happy in your work. Thank you. Good luck to you, Rudy. Thank Good you. Good luck to you, my dear. We'll start this game right after we do this, especially for you. Always games online now. Hello, friends. We were just having a discussion of Einstein's theory of relativity. Oh, hello, there you are. Are you ready? Here we go. Round one coming up, Rudy. A or B? A, please. A it is. Ray said, Arabs must have taken over my bank. Today I made a deposit and I got a free blank. <laughs> Arabs oh, must have taken over my bank. What do you say, uh, uh uh, Chuck. Chuck! You won. So odd to see you down there. Nice to have personal contact with you. You're okay, <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> Producer! <laughs> okay, Rudy. Ray said Arabs must have taken over my bank. Today I made a deposit and I got a free blank. How about a camel? Yeah! How about it? Good answer. Good. Rudy is pretty sharp. He came up with a good answer. He sure did. Yes, he did. I hope you match him. I wish I had matched him. No, I, I thought the Arab, you know, was... Now, there could be other good responses. Oil well, yeah, I said oil well. Oil well is okay. Real good thing. But it ain't no camel. Oh, <laughs> sweetheart, I never went so far as to say oil well. I thought they just would give you a simple can of oil. A can of oil. Okay. They you don't sir. have camels, they have Mercedes Benzes. Oh, that's what they because have. Because they got oil wells. They got oil wells. They're all... They're up to their togas in oil wells, or whatever they wear. Bernus. And yes. speaking of togas, a free sheet. Oh, yeah! That's it. That's weird. That's what they make their bernuses out of. No sheet. I no. meant yeah. jaw. No sheet. No right. sheet. <laughs> Chuck. Yo! Oh, <laughs> I love it. Rudy, if here. I'm ever in trouble, I'm in the, the California Highway Patrol. You'll make a call for me because you're going to remember this moment, Rudy. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Do I understand you are trying to bribe a member of the LAPD, Charles? Is that what you're trying to do? You heard it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just want to understand it. That is all. Hello there. Animal lover that I am, I said. Camel. There we go. Okay. Rudy, you will arrest her someday too, won't you? If I can help it, no. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Just want to check up on you here. Now, Brenda, you want A or B? I think I'm better stick with B. Oh, B. Okay. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? That's not at all. You know... I don't get it. I'll tell you, come to my dressing room. I'll explain the whole sorry. routine. Okay. You want him to come to your dressing room, too? <laughs> Harry. Gravy Shh, quiet. Harry said... <laughs> now we are <laughs> trying to figure it out. 
I'm not saying that the hotel I stayed in was tough, but the bellboy was wearing a blank uniform. I wouldn't say what, sir. This is, I don't want to say the hotel I was staying in was tough, but the bellboy was wearing a blank uniform. Tough hotel, you see. Oh, I get it. Can't both of them again and now. Just the hotel I was staying in was so tough, the bellboy was wearing a blank uniform. Isn't it amazing he doesn't work any faster down there than he does up here? <laughs> but it's a classier neighborhood. Right. Clever to World say. War III will not start on this stage. Don't make too many jerky movements behind my head. Oh, I'm sorry. Or I'll move upstairs very fast. Oh, child. You know what I mean? Yes, I know what you mean. I will be very careful. You know what careful. I mean? Just make a mental note when you go by me. Yes, I remember. Yes, I'll remember that. Don't Thank wear you. any prong jewelry. <laughs> Brenda... I forgot the question, so I'm going to have to read it again to you. Harry said, I'm not saying that the hotel I stayed in was tough, but the bellboy was wearing a blank uniform. A prison uniform? Yeah. Bellboy was wearing a prison uniform. Maybe, I don't know. It's a round one question. It could be any, any number of possibilities. <laughs> Bill, what do you say? could keep his hands off me. <laughs> you know what Charles said? All the operations worked. <laughs> I'm smelling perfume I haven't smelled in six years. <laughs> now, shall we get back to the I game? suspected as much. I was here the day she wore the coat. Oh, uh -oh. yeah. First time for a coat. Right? Yes, yeah, of course. Remember, he means the mink. That... Yes. That What's was beautiful. Name? She, she, she loves that. Jack. What's his name? Look at this. Yes, Sean, <laughs> what are we doing there? Jack? Can we Let's get on with the game? Yes. I want to go home already. <laughs> it was a Mike. tough place, and I said he was wearing a football uniform. Football uniform <laughs> with a helmet and everything, Brad. I love Brenda. She always looks so pained. Yes, she does. <laughs> She's so cute. I'm sorry. I said a policeman's, policeman's uniform. Policeman's uniform. I said a bulletproof uniform. Bulletproof is another good one. we got three good ones up there, but no match yet for Brenda. Let's see what we get down here. Donna. SS. SS is good. Yes. That would be tough, wouldn't it? Oh, boy. I said a motorcycle club uniform. Octoon there. <laughs> of course, with leather jackets and all that. And wheels. Yes. What's up? What's up? What's up? Sitting next to Rudy, I thought she would say police uniform. Oh, that's very logical isn't it? Okay, so there you are. Two to nothing in the other round one. Favor of Rudy. Uh, now we have this for you. Hurry back. Hey, Brent. Thank you, Johnny. Oh. Now we'll carry on here. Go to round two. Ask Rudy if he wants A or B. I think I'll stay with A. Okay, Rudy. Anything you say. I don't argue with no cops. Harry the Ice Cream King said, I'll tell you why I'm so successful in business. I built my ice cream empire by blanking the competition. Oh, I got it. You got it? Yeah. You don't write? You don't write. Oh, thank God. Oh. Good? Maybe I don't. <laughs> you change it if you like. There's time. No, I think I'm going to stick with it. There ain't good. time. There ain't time. The show's going to be over soon. Okay, oh, Rudy. He's so cranky. My life Harry is Harry the Ice Cream out. King said, I'll tell you why I'm so Friday successful afternoon. in business. I built my ice cream empire by blanking the competition. By freezing the competition. Very good. Yes, sir. You dun, dun, dun. What do you say? Rudy, you going to take care of me, too? Freezing out Freezing the competition. Freezing out. Okay, there's one for Rudy. Give one for Rudy. Honey, if you run into me, just remember that my stock in trade is charm <laughs> and adorableness and all of that because I, well, I didn't say that. I said creaming the competition. You didn't get the idea like I you said. I didn't get the idea. No. Bill loves my answer. answer. He's a country boy. What does he know? Because I never break the law. I don't you care never. whether he comes on my... Just leave my book here alone. <laughs> Freezing. There it is. Two for Rudy. Donna. Yes. Show and tell. Ta-da. Oh. Freezing. Five for Rudy. Well, Brenda, oh, five to tie, six to win. 
Everyone plays here. Did you hear about the weird baseball pitcher? Would you like to hear about him? Oh, say yes. Don't say no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here it is. After he gets done chewing his tobacco, he blanks it. Oh, I get this The one weird too. old baseball pitcher. After he gets done chewing his tobacco, he blanks it. You know, a lot of baseball pitchers chew tobacco as they play the game of ball. All right. This weird old baseball pitcher, Brenda, after he gets done chewing his tobacco, he blanks it. He smokes it. He smokes it. Clever lady. That's pretty good. Three people agree with me. <laughs> you agree with me? No, I used to be a base. You didn't know I was a base. You couldn't no. look at me and tell. I, yeah, I was, really. Left-handed, couldn't break a window pane. <laughs> <laughs> Were you a pitcher? Yeah, I was a left-handed pitcher. Well, then you know about They're this all answer. weird. Yes. Yeah. And after I chewed it, I pitched it. You pitched it. <laughs> good it a big Fine. That's good. What do you say? Am I the villain? Gotta match everybody now. Five to stay in the game and achieve a tie. Yes. I'm the villainessa, right? Or the heroine. Oh, oh, shucks. Listen, Brenda, I love that answer. Smoked it. And I'm sorry I didn't say it. I'm sorry, darling. I said swallow. Swallow, so that means Rudy wins the game. What do the rest of you have? So swallow, swallow, it. Okay, come on down you. Right there, a little blue spot. Brenda is leaving here with a grand total of three thousand four hundred dollars. Congratulations to Brenda Petty. Okay, Rudy. Got a picture of yourself in uniform? Uh, yes, I do. May I see it? <laughs> well, it's my ID picture, and it's not very good. Yes, I bet it's a very good picture. While you're doing that... Look at that beauty. Oh, you're wonderful looking. I just want to see what you look like so I'll recognize you when I'm caught speeding. Man. <laughs> we polled a studio audience not too long ago here. About 20 minutes ago, as a matter of fact. We said, write down your best answer to this. Gray blank. $500 for matching their most uh, popular answer. $250 for the second most popular and $100 for the third. And three of our six stars will help you, Rudy. There. Betty? Gray whale. Okay, one. Gray what? Brett. What Betty and I will never have, gray hair. <laughs> and Donna? I thought of gray mares in the old gray The old gray mare. mare. Okay. What she used to be. Old gray mare, gray, 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 gray hair, and gray whale of the three. Rudy, you have an option. Choose one of those or give us one of your own. I think I'll choose uh, one of my own. What is that? How about gray matter? What? <laughs> now, gray matter is what he's going with. People in the audience are screaming like crazy, greyhound. <laughs> and I thought he heard them and he's gonna steal that answer. Well, let's find out if gray matter is up there. May we see the $100 number? Gray hair is a answer one of the celebrities gave you. $250 answer, please. Gray mare is up there. Gray. Now the $500 one of you, please. Greyhound, they were right all along. Oh, I'm sorry, Rudy, but you'll need another player later. Now we've got a message for America. Next time we get together, these are the bodies you'll see on this stage. <laughs> Robert Walden, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Loretta Swift, Richard Paul, and Mary Wick. here today to join these two people. She looks so young. <laughs> she does. No, that's not the right one. 
Listen, we've enjoyed being with you, and we hope you've enjoyed being with us. Now, have we introduced next week's celebrities or not? Oh, we've done that. We can say goodbye. They're the bridesmaids. Oh, they're the bridesmaids. I'm sorry. Thank you for joining us. God bring you life. Hearts raced and passions soar. But in this game of love, everything is about to change. Average Joe, Wednesday night at 10 on GSN, the network for games. GSN. It's Gimme Games Tuesday. At 9, they bark, but will they bite? Contestants are pushed to the limit on Dog Eat Dog. You don't like pain, you can go home. At 10, the ultimate playground game goes extreme. Take your best shot on extreme dodgeball. We're going to the championship. We're taking this. Then at 10.30, best friends, better enemies. This is going to be a lot of fun. Catch their crazy competitions on Kenny vs. Spenny. At 9, Dog Eat Dog. At 10, Extreme Dodgeball. Then at 10.30, Kenny vs. Spenny. Tonight on Gimme Games Tuesday on GSN.